Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. This is Jordan here for another edition of the Book Knowledge Share. I hope you're having a great week. I'm having another great week just back from Vancouver, back in Toronto now, and wanted to share with you another book of the week. This week, we're going to be talking about HR, people management. I uh, read this book about a year ago and decided to read it again because I wanted to share some knowledge with you. Fantastic book by uh, a Googler, a Googler. Yes, we all know Google, very popular company, has a lot of really interesting stuff going on over there, and we all want to kind of get in the heads of those Googlers over there. We want to learn a few things. So uh, Laszlo Bach wrote this book here, Work Rules, and it's about basically the people management of uh, what happens at Google. So Laszlo is a senior manager who is basically responsible for the entire people operation over at Google. And he brought some great insights into um, what they do. How do they make people so happy over there? They do a lot of testing. He talks a lot about the experiments they run. And you know what? He also admits they don't always get it right. So that's a big key takeaway right there. Experiment. Give things a, give things a try. Let your people know that you're experimenting and help them grow and bring better ideas to your company. So Google, as you know, is very open, very innovative, and it's a very wonderful workplace. So I hope some of these ideas will help and will bring forth some ideas for you to implement at your office into your work, whether you're a leader or a manager or an owner, whatever it is, um, use some of these ideas and take them uh, take them to heart. So number one, the big thing that I, I really got out of this book is that we, we need to make sure that um, we hire slowly. We got to hire the right people. It's really important to get that right. We got to hire the right people. And if that means that you have to leave a position empty for a while, do it. Your goal, according to Mr. Bach here, is to make sure your goal is to try to get to a point where you don't need to fire anybody. You don't need to fire anybody. So that's a really key indicator right there. If you can hire to the point where you're getting enough good people that you don't want to get rid of any of them, that's awesome. That's totally awesome. Now, there's other ways to manage people and to help people become better performers throughout. You may find that they're not fitting in certain areas, and you can help guide them there. You can help guide them there. Uh, one of the things the book talks about a lot is nudging and giving people the sort of indicators. Like, for example, um, new manager, somebody who's got a new hire coming in, they're going to get a checklist the day before telling them to do X, Y, and Z with this new hire so that they can get up to speed quicker and quicker. So that's the number one there. Hire slowly. It's really important. It's probably one of the most important things that you do. And if you need to leave that spot empty, just do it. Just do it. It's against the trend, but just do it. You'll, you'll be much happier in the end. So secondly, for this book, um, we're talking about performance management just a second ago. One thing that you want to do at the end of the year or whenever you have your um, quarterly management or yearly by yearly management uh, ratings for all of your staff is to calibrate those ratings. So gather your managers in similar, similar roles or people who are rating similar people. Gather those people and calibrate them. Have your managers discuss why they gave a specific rating to person uh, ABC, John over there, why did he get a 3.4 rather than a 3.6, okay? So have your managers, essentially what you're doing is getting them to have a common ground of what good performance is and really set that bar high for what good performance is. So calibrate your ratings and your people will be much happier and they'll, they'll really understand how fair the process is, is everybody is on the same page. They can really understand what makes a good performance and how do I get my rating up higher. And lastly, the third big thing that I got out of this is, uh, I, I think this is a little bit more of a sentimental picture moment here, but what I really got was, uh, and this is something that Mr. Bach had uh, put into the book, is that 
you need to, if you think people are good, you need to treat them that way. So don't set up strange rules at your organization that essentially means that you don't trust people. Allow them some leeway to make good decisions because, as I said, if you believe people are good, then you got to treat them that way. you got to let them be free. you got to let them make their own decisions. And you know what? When they make the mistakes, celebrate them a bit. Let them know that it's okay to make mistakes and that we can course correct along the way. Um, one of the big things that comes out of this book a lot is Eric Schmidt, one of the founders of Google, was very famous for going for moonshots. These are the big top projects that, you know, are way, 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 way out of reach. But you know what? When you go for moonshots and you miss, you're probably still going to end up with a really awesome product at the end of the day. So set that bar high. Let people have some leeway in terms of the decisions that they make. And let them be free, man. Let them be free. They they are good people. Uh, people, generally speaking, want to do good things. And so let them do things. Don't get in their way, okay? So those are the three things that I got from the book. Uh, if you're into management, if you're a leader, if you're an HR professional, uh, I recommend checking out the book. I'm sure you'll get some great ideas out of it. And with that, I want to remind you to check out the other books that I have reviewed right down below. I think it's over here somewhere. And uh, check that out. Check out the other books. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think of this one. And until next week, have a good week. I want you to have an exceptional week. And I'm really grateful for you being here. So next week, we will meet again. And I'll have another book for you. So take care. Have a good one. This is Jordan again, signing off.